Ambassador Sondland told him that everything was dependent on such an announcement, on a public announcement of investigations, including security systems. Is that a quid pro quo? I don't think there's any quid pro quo here. And you have to look at the whole picture. I think that any American that would read that transcript themselves would, would, would come to the conclusion there was no quid pro quo there. But he, is, he did say that there was a quid pro quo. Do you think he's a credible witness, sir? No, I'm sorry. I think I'm good. Have a good day. Okay. Do you have concern, though, about the substance of, of the call of whether the president asked for a quid pro quo at all from the Ukrainian president? I have a lot of uh, concerns about the lack of substance in this situation. This president, uh, to my knowledge and to what I've seen, has not committed a crime. So what his testimony does is contradict others. So it's kind of like a he says, she says, although this is he says, he says. So it's hard to know uh, what is accurate. So this quid pro quo that he lays out here, you're not sure if that's true? That is that is correct. Sondland said that everything was dependent on such an announcement, including security assistance. Does that read like a quid pro quo to you? Well, quid pro quo is a legal term. Uh, it's troubling, for sure. Uh, but that's the whole point that we're doing this. And by the way, I, I've said many, many times, I think the best venue for this is law enforcement. They should be the one investigating this because if the standard that we're, we set out for ourselves for impeachment, which is the second most significant thing we can do next only to declaring war, that independent fact finders do the, the, the investigating and not partisan chairman or ranking members of a committee.